When I have pasta at home, I always make this delicious and easy recipe. To start our recipe, I will add some olive oil in a frying pan. Next, I will add one onion cut into small cubes, saute a little until the onion begins to turn golden. Then, I will add four cloves of garlic, half red bell pepper, and half green bell pepper. I will stir well again all the ingredients. Next, I will add a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of paprika. And I will stir a little more so that our spices add flavor to our recipe. Then I'll add 300 grams of tomato extract. I have no doubt that this recipe will impress you. I'll mix all the ingredients with our tomato extract. Now, I will add half a liter of water. I will continue stirring until all our tomato extract is completely diluted in water. And before I forget, tell me which city you're watching so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Nana Betty from Louisville in Texas. I'm glad you're enjoying our recipes. After the tomato extract dilutes in water, I will add 200 grams of pasta in our recipe. And I will stir well so that all the pasta are covered by our sauce. I let the pasta cook for 10 minutes on low heat. Once our pasta is well cooked, I will add 170 grams of tuna in our recipe and I will stir it again so that the tuna is mixed throughout our recipe. Guys, this recipe is amazing, I'm sure you and your family will love this pasta, do it at your house and then come and tell me what you think. Finally, I will add 2 tablespoons of cottage cheese and a little parsley to taste. Guys, you can't imagine how wonderful this recipe is. I will stir well so that the cottage cheese is incorporated in our sauce, leaving it very creamy. I like to make this pasta in those family Sunday lunches, everyone here at home loves this recipe and whenever I do nothing is left. Now our recipe is ready. I doubt you've ever tasted such a delicious recipe. See how we can make an amazing recipe with few ingredients? I have no doubt that you will come back here to thank me for having taught you how to make this wonderful recipe. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video so far, I see you in the next video. Bye.